Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Rich from Young Blood Review, and obviously it is. I am back again. I keep having problems with posting videos. Um, school's just been really hard. I I am still on uh, the uh, channel Boogish Days. I am posting every other mon er, or actually every Monday. I don't usually miss a week, but uh, yeah, I am at, I am back on here, and I just wanted to say that it is my birthday this month. That sounds conceited, though I don't want it to sound conceited. Just telling you, just letting you know. Uh, but actually, I'm here to do a book review, not a book haul. I actually had books to show you last week, but I didn't get around to making a video because a lot of work had to be done. Uh, so actually, this Sunday, I'll be making a video. So I'm filming a book review right now for a book I actually got to read a little early. I don't know when this book comes out, actually. It might already be out, but I got it. I know I got it early. So I was very excited for that because it's one of my most anticipated books of September. So yeah, let's get started. The book is Fathomless by Jackson Pierce. I loved Fathomless. Fathomless was actually really, really awesome. If you do not know Fabulous, or Fathomless, not Fabulous, uh, I'm going to read the inside cover for you, actually, because I actually do that for a lot of my books. Uh, Lo doesn't know who she is or who she was. Once a human, she is now almost entirely a creature of the sea. A nymph, an ocean girl, a mermaid. All terms too pretty for the soulless monster she knows she's becoming. Celia has always felt at a place, the third wheel and a set of triplets bound together by their special abilities. Anne can see the future, and Jane can see the present, but all Celia can see is the past. Hardly a mystery to most until Celia meets Lo. When a handsome boy named Jude falls off a pier and into the ocean, Celia and Lo work together to rescue him from the waves. The two form a friendship, but soon find themselves competing for Jude's affection. Lo wants more than that, though. According to the gr Ocean Girls, there's only one way for Lo to earn back her humanity. She must persuade a mortal to love her and steal, her, and steal his soul. So, yeah. The prologue actually got me really started on this book, and I loved the prologue. The pro but the prologue was kind of sad, because at first the prologue takes, like, Three months or something like that. I can't be for sure. Um, but then uh, maybe it's like five months. I don't know. It's pretty close to when Lo actually got to turn into a mermaid, and it was pretty good. And it was kind of sad because Lo still remembered a lot of stuff about her past and stuff, and she was starting to forget, and, it, and she was sad about it. Then it gives on to the chapters, and Lo is just turned into a mermaid. She's heartless, she's cold, and she doesn't really know any... Well, not that she's heartless, it's just kind of like she could care less. She has no feelings anymore. It's like she's not human. She's lost. Her soul is, like, depleting. So, she meets, and then it goes to Celia. Celia can see the past, which you would think that has really nothing good about it. But in all reality, it does. Because Lo meets her when they help Jude, and Jude is the boy they both fall in love with. I liked Celia as a couple with him. I would have gone for Lo, but Lo is kind of evil in a way. Not really. Not saying that he ends up with Celia. I'm not saying that at all. Not giving away the ending there. But uh, I liked them better as a couple more than Lo and Jude. Because Lo is just kind of... Like I said, evil. Once she's soulless... Uh, but, um, Celia learns that she can actually help Lo remember her past, which in turn is bad. Bad. Bad turns out for the story. It turns out bad for Jude. Jude, she actually starts remembering this stuff. She's like, I want to be a human again. I want to remember all this stuff. I want to be the other me. And at one part of this book, it tells you that she can't remember her name, and the name is a big part of the story, so I can't really tell you the name. But, um... Uh, she starts remembering all this stuff, and it turns out that, uh, she does want to become human again, which is bad for Jude. And then, it's not like, I th it's not that she's bad, it's that she has her feelings, and that she wants to be human again. It, it just really hurts her to not really become human. And this one was actually better than Sweetly. I could not, for the love of all that is holy love Sweetly. I could not. I could not love it with my heart. I couldn't. Sweetly had too much uh, similarities to Sisters Red. I'm sorry, but if you were going to retell a story, it cannot be the same as the first story of a retelling. 
One, you would have to put the characters from the first book into the second book, at least a little bit, even if it's not in their point of view. That's how I see that. I don't know how anybody else see that, but Sweetly just wasn't good for me. I did love Sisters Red. This one actually has less action than Sisters Red, which is why, which is one of the flaws of it. I did like the romance, but the, I needed action. And Sisters Red had a loads of action. The whole axe swinging, girls in cloaks, and killing werewolves, which was actually pretty darn good. I loved that book, but this book just didn't have a lot of action in it. At the, like the last few chapters, it had uh, some action. So yeah, I give this book about four and a half stars, probably mostly because I, I did want some action. I wanted action more than anything else in this entire book, because I knew uh, my expectations were set really high for this book, mostly because of Sisters Red, because I really loved Sisters Red. I thought this one was going to have action, and Sweetly had action as much almost as much as Scissor Red did, it's just not this one. This one didn't. I actually do think Jackson Pierce is actually coming up with another book, which is called, I think it's going to be a retelling of The Snow Queen. I can't really be for sure. She hasn't really released that info yet, but I've heard something about it on Twitter or something like that. Uh, so I am excited about that. I've just never read the story of The Snow Queen. I really might need to go read it. I knew this one. This was just The Little Mermaid. Now what's funny is Lo does not have red hair. She doesn't have a she doesn't have a tail at all, and she doesn't have a bra on. So she's basically naked in the ocean, which is nasty. And I found that weird that a bunch of girls are down below the ocean swimming together naked. But anyway, that's all for me this week, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this book review. Like it or favorite or whatever you guys want to do to show your support. I thank you all, my subscribers, for actually subscribing to me and giving me giving me the love of being my subscribers. That is awesome. That might have sounded weird the last thing I said, but that is awesome. I like to, I would want to thank I want to thank you guys and I mean that is just that means more to me than anything else in this world. You guys make me want to do these videos a lot more often and I am going to try to do more often. But you guys are the reasons that I do this videos. Mostly cuz I love I do love reading, but mostly because of you guys. You guys are awesome. I'm glad I have you guys as watching these videos and it's just awesome so i hope to see you guys next week also also if i'm gonna start putting my information on here like my twitter my goodreads well not down in the description because that'd take too long for me um i'm gonna start put because i don't edit on my computer i edit on my iphone but um my twitter it's a little weird it's a uh, youngblood five six six. I think I think that's it. Ridge Sim or at youngblood five six six. That is my name. I should have said it as youngblood review. I know, but I didn't really think about it when I made it. Also, my Goodreads I think is under um, look up disappearance by Ridge Simmons. You will find me there because that is my book that I'm actually working on, and you can like me or follow me or friend me there um that's really all i have and my blog is i think a lot of you know it's a uh, young young blood reviews uh dot blogspot dot com it may be young blood review but try young blood reviews first and if it's not that young blood review this all sounds really complicated and i know but uh just wanted to let you guys know that i am out there in the world i'm not totally like secluded in this room that you see this background almost every day and my fan and my bookshelf back there well this is getting really long video uh i hope you guys have a great week some books and like i said sunday i will be back here to do a book haul i promise i will do a book haul and i'll see you guys uh next uh i ruin every goodbye i'll see you guys this sunday goodbye happy reading